वनकम नमस्ते नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू जल प्रयाग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच इज रिगार्डिंग लाइट्स इफ यू रियलाइज लाइट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एड टू नेविगेशन देयर आर थ्री मेजर टाइप्स ऑफ लाइट स्ट्रक्चर्स और द बॉडीज यू कैन फाइंड I'm going to talk about that, and then uh, we'll look into the different uh, character or the rhythm, the way the lights are named, uh, what is the title given to them on the charts, and how to decipher them. So we're going to look into that today. I'll be making a, a series of uh, videos on lights, so uh, I'll break them into different parts, and I'll deal. Uh, different sections of them one by one because i can't cover in one go why i need to know about this is because uh, the questions which come in your exam talks about the character or they just give you the title of the light and different abbreviations so uh, you need to decipher them and use it in your questions so that is the reason you need to know uh, the basics of lights also so as a start today uh, on the first of this series i'm going to talk only about the basic characters so if you look at the title also it is the characters that is what i'm going to talk about and i call it part 1 let us quickly look into what are the different types of uh, sources from where i can get a light uh, which can help me in uh, navigation so the first one is your lighthouse the second one uh, is a light vessel and the third one is the boys so these are the three main sources of uh, aid to navigation which you get uh, in your charts as well as in real life now lighthouse is a fixed structure i'm going to show you a picture and uh, this structure is identified the structure basically is identified by uh, two important features one is your uh, color and then it could be uh, the height the color in this example you can see it is white and red and uh, they are with horizontal bands so you can have different bands you can have vertical bands so it depends on uh, how it has been constructed this is the physical feature of your uh, uh, structure but at the same time it includes a light which is going to uh, uh, show it itself on the night time and that light is characterized by the color the pattern or the rhythm and as well as the range now this lighthouse can uh, also have with it radar detection which is your raycon and raymark it is possible and uh, including that they can give you a radio direction finder which is your rdf if you look at uh, radio direction finding it can be used both for nautical as well as your uh, aeroplanes also so you will see some of the lighthouses will be marked as aero that means it is going to help the planes also find the direction since this is a fixed structure usually constructed on the land and uh, sometimes on a small island also a small piece of rock it is possible they can make so they are trusted source of navigation so you can use them for position fixing as well <clears throat> you can take a bearing and uh, you can use your radar to find the range and as well uh, so it is possible for you to use them Uh, as a trusted source let us look at the second one second one is a light vessel the light vessel is a floating and anchored structure so this is a picture you can see the middle of the uh, vessel you have the light so purpose of this vessel is just to uh, give you a light source as an aid to navigation but the problem with this uh, this one is it can drift because it's anchored it can be removed off location also for maintenance as well The third important one is your boys they are also floating structures they are anchored so you can see a picture here uh this is there's again possibility of drifting and uh, being off location it could be because of heavy weather or because of maintenance because of damage by vessels also some passing vessels can come and uh, hit them as well uh since they are anchored Uh, they will have a play with the anchors there will be uh, some extra chains given to cater for the tide levels 
uh, or due to some for uh, water surge also. So you can have a large excursion radius. So uh, the possibility that the position of this boy, what you see is not exactly the charted one because it is moved with the current or the streams or whatever it is. Okay. The boys are recognized mainly physically by your shape and the body color. I'll be dealing with this part, a completely separate module regarding boys. It's an important topic for BSC as well as second match. The lights can have different colors. They can have different rhythms. You can have sound signals incorporated in them for warning and fog identification as well. Uh, they can uh, put radar reflectors so that you can have good radar detection. They can incorporate AIS also in this. It's possible. So these are the three main uh, aid to navigations which we use. I'm basically going into the characters of the, particularly the lights. So I want to look at different character, possible characters. I have I tried to put in the most of the pos possible uh, characters what you can come across. So let us look at them. The first one is flashing. Please remember flashing means it is very similar to a torch. It is always off. Whenever you want it, you will just switch on, switch off. So the light comes for a very, very short duration. That is why the on time is much lesser than the off time. That is what I mentioned. The on time is much lesser. You can have group flashing. That means flashing three. So I'll, I'll be showing you a picture of what do you mean by group, group flashing. You can have composite group also, flashing two plus one. I'll show you this also later on. I can have isophase, which means the on and off time are equal. I can have something called occulting, which is exactly opposite to flashing, which means the torch is always on. And for a short duration, you switch it off, exactly opposite to your flashing. You can have group occulting also. You can have composite group occulting also. Then you can have a quick flash, that means 60 flashes per minute. You can have very quick 120 flashes. Ultra, which is 180 flashes per minute. You can have a fixed light. A light is always on. Sometimes on a very uh, high-rise building, you might see a fixed red color light always on. So it's called a fixed light. Then something called fixed and flashing, which means a low intensity light is always on. And then a sudden spike of a high intensity flash will come. You can have an alternating white, red, and green, the different colors, they can come in sequence. You can have white, red, and green separated with different horizontal sectors around you. Please remember the whole uh, azimuth of 360 degrees can be separated in different uh, sectors and they can have only different colors. That means one particular color is only there. It's marked on the chart. But with this white, red, and green, I can have flashing white, red, and green, occulting, or I can have group occulting, I can have isophase, it's all possible. Different rhythms are possible with, with these sectors also. Okay. Then last one uh, can be a Morse code with a dot and a dash principle. It could be Morse code uniform or alpha, whatever it is. So these are the generic characters. I'll pick up a few of them and I'll show you uh, how it is uh, depicted on the chart and what is the meaning of that. Uh, some of them I'll try to this different colored lights. I can uh, do it in the second part. So I'm not going to do it. Let us quickly look at the first example. So this is an example. I've shown you the star. Star is a symbol of lighthouse uh, or a light uh, on the chart. And you can see there is a, a nomenclature given. So I'm going to break them and let us have a look. FL stands for flashing. Since the color is not mentioned, I we will always assume it is a white light. And you should realize a white light cannot be shown as a flash in this white background, the same thing on a white chart or anywhere. So usually a color of yellow is chosen to represent a white light. So that is what I am also doing here. A black means is a darkness, it is off always, but you will have a spike of a white light then a gap, gap, and gap. Now let us look at the second character given in the nomenclature, which is saying five seconds time period. Please look at this time period. It is the start of the first flash till the start of the second flash. And again, from second to third, the gap between that is five seconds. 
please remember it is start of the first flash to start of the second. 22M, small m is meter, which is shattered height. 25 capital M is the nominal range of that lighthouse, which is 25 nautical miles. I'm going to talk about uh, nominal range and different ranges in the separate part of the same series. So we'll talk about that later. Let us quickly go to the second one. OCC or OC can be called as occulting. So the color is not mentioned. Yeah, I have to assume it's a white light. I've shown you with a constant on, please remember, I've shown you with constant on. It is constantly on. For a short while, it goes off. So that is what is shown by these black spikes. Okay. So five seconds is a time period. Again, start of the first occult to start of the second occult. 22 meter chartered height, 25 M is your nominal range. Let us look at the third one. Flashing three is called group flashing three. Color not mentioned, so I call it white. So it is always off. And then I get three flashes in a group. It says 10 seconds time period. So start of the first flash in the group to again start of the first flash again in the next group. So this is what is your time period. 18 meter charter height, 20 meter is your nominal range. Let us look at composite group flashing. It's two plus one. So it is a total group of two plus one, but a small separation between them. White light. So you can see there are two flashes, quick flashes, then small gap and the third flash. And then there will be a very long gap of 12 seconds. Again, the same group starts. 33 meter is chartered height, 28 meter uh, nautical mile is your nominal range. Let us look at isophase. Isophase, that means on and off time are equal. Color is not mentioned, so it's white. So please see, it is on and then it is off. The timing of duration of the on and off are exactly the same. So this is the rhythm. 18 meter chartered height, 20 miles is your nominal range. Let us look at alternating white, red, and green, 22 miles and 25 M. So it's alternately flashing white and red and green at the same place. So you might have this white here. After some time, you'll have a red and then you'll have a green. And again, the white flashing starts. So this is uh, 22 meters, your chartered height, and 25 M is your nominal range. So uh, that's the uh, end of this first uh, series of uh, lights where I mainly concentrated on the characters. Uh, I'll keep coming on uh, the different uh, sections of the lights which we need to know, and uh, then finally, uh, how to use them on chat work questions. Uh, I'll come back with the part two and most probably part three also. It depends on how much I can do. Uh, please keep watching Jal Prayag and until then, uh, Varakam, Namaste, Namaskar.